Okay guys, so we're at the heavy equipment auction here, Pulaski Brothers in Trenton, New Jersey. And we're here to talk to you about whether or not you should buy a used R model truck or a brand new truck. Let's take a look. Red R model Mac, take one. Guys, so uh, unfortunately this blue truck didn't start. The batteries were dead. So way back over here, we have a red R model and it is a very fine looking truck. Everything looks to be totally original and clean. And we're gonna go back there. I'm gonna do a tutorial and walk you through the truck. We're gonna do an in cab view and uh, we're gonna get a little bit of the exhaust too. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're looking at an 85 R model Mac, spoker wheels, classic, classic truck. Let's go through a little bit about the options and accessories that the truck has, and then I'll fire up the engine. So first things first, it's got a power tarp. That was added on later. So manually, if it was a manual tarp, the driver would have to go out there and set the tarp in the rain, in the snow, in the sleet, and physically put the tarp over the product. This is electric, so you just hit a switch in the cab, and boom, the tarp's set. So let's keep walking. So this is the battery box right here. The cab mounts are accessible, it's easy to get to. Hood latch either side of the hood, okay? The hood comes straight down. It doesn't have the access window like on the older U model. The hood tilts forward like a conventional truck. Brass fuel cap, which I really like. Brass fuel cap, it just has a nice classic feel to it. It's not cheap, it's not crappy, it's actually a piece of brass and it'll last a lifetime. It'll actually last longer than the tank. So, next, we're looking at the body. We come over here. This is the manual actuator. You disconnect this ring and you open the chute manually like this, and the entire body is open. Then the driver can proceed to turn the PTO on and dump the product. So we're gonna close that back up. And here we have, this is the power tarp. Let's head back over here. truck also has a separate chute. This is for doing asphalt, right? Specifically just for asphalt. You can dump just a little bit of the body instead of the entire thing. Um, the gate also looks like it swung at some point in addition to tilt open. So these hinges can be repaired and the entire gate can swing if you're doing scrap metal, if you're doing larger products, that's very handy. Um, as you can see, the truck from the factory looks like it's equipped with air out to the ass end. So if you're pulling a trailer with air brakes, just hook your glad hands up from right back here, and uh, you are rolling. So you got your standard seven-way pintle hitch, and um, two D-rings here. That's heavy-duty D-rings. In the event of an accident, the trailer won't come disconnected. So yeah, the truck has all the accessories as far as trailer towing and capabilities for dumping different types of products. It's a very unique truck. So yeah, it's got traditional Mac rears, it's got camel back suspension, 11R22 tires, and a heated body. So if you're running asphalt, the body's not going to freeze. Okay guys, so we have here a classic Thermodyne engine. Now these engines don't historically make a lot of power, but they will literally run forever. So it's the classic split rocker box, simple, Thermodyne engine, all mechanical fuel system, original air conditioning. Uh, you got your giant Donaldson air filter with oversized intercooler pipes. Um, classic Mac turbo. Guys, this does not get any simpler than this. You have access to filters, your compressors in the back. Let's see, the dipstick is right here. Come on, I mean, have you seen a new engine built like this where you can literally reach in and grab everything recently? You haven't because it doesn't exist anymore. These are the last of the dying breeds. Classic, classic truck. Reach in, you can grab the belt, you can touch the fan. Guys, this is worth it. This is worth buying something like this. You will have this for the rest of your life. You can pass this down to your kids. 
All right, so this is a really easy starter to change. It's like all right here, okay? So as far as you having a problem with your starter, don't sweat it, it's easily accessible. Wow, look at this steering box, it is massive. They do not make this anymore. This is an oversized steering box built like a bank vault. You cannot break this thing. Um, unfortunately, the problem with the 80s is some of the wiring may not be as good as it should be. Um, they did make vast improvements in wiring technology since then, but you have your main bus. Everything's pretty easy accessible. You just have to follow the wires and trace it along. Um, but otherwise, guys, this is a classic Mack truck, and it's really worth the investment, considering what you're going to pay versus a brand new truck. Guys, get yourself an our model Mack. Okay, guys, so we're now in the cab of the 86 Mack, and it is a beautiful truck, original wheel, uh, original Mack pedals, uh, all original switches, the classic Mack feel can't get any better than this. So the 86 Mac is equipped with a twin stick transmission. So these are your mains, okay? So this is what you're gonna be using around town. This is your everyday, you know, low, two, three, four, okay? And then this is your, this is your splitter. This is how you split them. You can go low one, two, low three, four. And that's how you get, that's how you get the, that's how you're able to maximize the pulling power of this truck because you have your main transmission and then you could actually multiply that or reduce it, however you want to look at it, so that you're able to pull more weight. So that's come, that comes in handy when you're pulling the low boy, the flatbed, you're pulling a bulldozer behind you and your body's loaded, you need a twin stick transmission. This is a classic truck, Mack and Renault, when they made this transmission, they mastered it. Guys, this is the best. All right, so we're gonna do a rundown of the dash. There's the fuel gauge. That's your uh, barometer. Um, this is turbo pressure. This is air. This is primary and secondary, red and green. Um, clearance lamps, panel uh, dimming switch, headlights, Jacob brake on off. This is stage one, two. Um, washer fluid apply on off air wipers, engine fuel rail shut off, oil PSI, water temperature, voltage gauge, and that's live at all times. So I'm gonna fire it up. That is the key on buzzer, and it starts off at really low RPM, and then it catches up. That's low, that is real low. Pull the fuel. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe.
Yeah.